What's up guys, it's your girl Brianna, AKA Mini Marley, and today I am back with a new video. This one is gonna look a little old school like my older videos. I'm coming to you guys bare-faced and looking a little crusty, the same way that you would look when you're putting your twists in. So I posted my updated natural hair journey recently and I got so many amazing comments. I literally read all of them and I've been reading them and you guys loved that video and I'm so happy because I spent so much time on it. I promised I would kind of give you a more up close and personal look at my hair and kind of show you my problem areas and all of that because that video was more artistic and we didn't really get into the nitty gritty so we're gonna get real real okay I just pulled out the edges of my hair and these are the parts that you know aren't as long as everywhere else I had a lot of postpartum shedding and I especially lost my edges so now that they're growing back this is pretty much what they look like <laughs> But just from, you know, pulling at my edges right here and pulling these out, you can see that I definitely had a lot of breakage here. And now, you know, it's growing back, so it's kind of filled in. I don't have, you know, those sparse areas on my edges. And I tend to do these this, like, middle part kind of often. So as you can see along the part, I also have some little shorter pieces. So yeah, the point of this is my hair is definitely not perfect, just like everybody else. I'm basically just going to be doing my twist out today. I told you guys that I've been trying to do a chunkier twist out. I like the look that it gives me. Sometimes I'm not always wanting the defined, super curly, coily twist out. I also don't want to spend so much time <laughs> creating those smaller twists. Sometimes I need to get it done quickly. So yeah, today we're going to be doing a chunkier twist out. The first thing I like to do for my twist outs is a section off my hair. So I'm going to start by working on this back section and I'm going to apply a ton of this lock and braid butter back here just to keep this section moisturized before all the water dries out. And now I'm going to add a little bit more of it to this individual little piece. And then I'm gonna take some of my Jane Carter Solution Nourish and Shine, and I just rub that through the section too. Now, since these twists are chunkier, sometimes they want to unravel, so I like to take a bobby pin and coil the twist up tightly and then pin it down so that I get that nice tight root. And now I'm gonna continue on with this back section, and I'm basically just dividing this back section into three twists. So one over here, one over here, and then I have a section of hair right here for the middle. So this is my next section of hair here, but as you see, I parted off this small little section and that's because I wanna make sure that I have a twist here in the center of my head and I don't have like a part down the middle. Clipping that away and I'm gonna start with this section. I'm going to add my lock and braid butter. Just adding that until I feel like this section has enough moisture. Now I'm adding my Nourish and Shine. Make sure to focus that on your ends. And then I'm going through it one last time with my Denman. And twist.
Now, when I get to the front of my hair, I do tend to do the sections a tiny bit smaller, and that's just because it's the front and it tends to get the frizziest. And yeah, it's better if I start off with a somewhat medium sized twist instead of going super chunky because then I'd probably have to retwist during the week. I'm literally scraping out the last bits of my nourish and shine, but this has lasted me for so long. Okay, so the twists are in and this is what my hair is looking like. Nice and juicy and thick twists. The bobby pins are a major key, guys. Like this twist, for example, is so chunky. It would not stay if I did not have my bobby pins. But yeah, I use my Denman brush to make sure that even though I get a thicker, fluffier twist out, my ends are still nice and defined because you still want that little bit of definition to get you through the week. So before I go to bed, I'm also going to apply a little bit of this Rose Hair Elixir. This is by The Innate Life. I love their stuff from what I see because I haven't tried it yet. But they just use a lot of natural ingredients and just really, really good ingredients. That's their main thing. So this Rose Hair Elixir has amazing stuff in it like avocado oil, sweet almond oil, sunflower oil, grapeseed oil, flaxseed oil, pumpkin seed, the list goes on and they're literally pretty much just oiled. There's nothing here that I can't pronounce, nothing unfamiliar. So yeah, I'm gonna be using this on my edges cause like I just showed you, I have some breakage there. So before I go to bed, I'm just going to apply some of this. So yeah, let's try to grow these edges back. Oh my God. I'm back, my hair is completely dry. So I actually kept these twists in for about a day and a half. Yesterday afternoon or so, I went ahead and took out the bobby pins because for the most part, they were pretty dry-ish. So you know, they weren't going to unravel. And as you can see, my twists basically stayed Perfect, they didn't unravel at all even though they're so huge, so I'm really happy with that. I'm starting off with an oil spray. Anyone will do, don't go break the bank. I'm just using the Jane Carter Solution Curls to go shine on Curl Elixir. This is the one that is usually closest to me. So I'm gonna start at the back and I'm just going to undo these. So this is what the hair is looking like, these curls are so nice and soft and bouncy. And then now you can basically just separate this as much or as little as you want. So for a normal twist out, I would separate the curls very small and I would coil each coil around my finger and just get that really defined look. But for this, I'm just making sure that the ends stay together and are nice and coiled. And I'm not going to separate like too extreme, you know? I wanna get some of that fluffiness like this as you can see, and just keep the definition at the end. No matter what, my hair tends to be defined, even when I do these super chunky twist outs, as you see. So keep that in mind. Everybody's hair texture is different. I feel like I've been saying that since I started my channel, and it's because I don't want anybody to be misled and think you can do exactly what I do and get my exact results. All right, so my twists are all out, and this is what my hair is looking like without being fluffed or picked or anything like that. This is how it's looking, and I'm not happy with the shape at all. <laughs> because this was a super duper chunky twist out, a lot of the twists um, feel a teeny bit damp, not super damp, that's why you can't really tell. I can kind of tell, it's a little frizzier than normal. 
but it is a tiny, tiny bit damp. And chunkier twists also give you kind of more shrinkage because those twists, like, you know, shrink up. So yeah, I kind of want to stretch my hair out a little bit. And at the same time, I want to dry it a little bit more. So instead of using the banding method and causing more frizz, I'm going to go in with my dryer just a little bit like I used to do before I cared about health. This isn't the healthiest way to do it because, you know, it is putting extra heat on your hair. But I don't think it's a big deal to do it every now and then. Just to stretch it a little bit, you don't need a lot of heat for that. Okay, so my hair is just not falling like it normally does. So I'm just trying to bend it a little bit now that it's dry. Just while I um, put on my, you know, fix my edges. <laughs> So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that a little. I would normally band it a lot more, like, you know, all the way down to the end. But like I said, I just need a little, a little something. I'm not sure why it's not cooperating with me. Alright guys, so that is all I have for you today. I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial and found it nice and easy to follow. Hopefully you picked up some tips and tricks that you can use the next time you decide to do a chunky twist out. I also hope you guys enjoyed seeing my problem areas with my hair. I know sometimes when you're watching these beauty vloggers and people on social media, it's just like, oh my gosh, you're perfect and I'm not. And that is just not the case, boo. There's a lot of editing that goes on. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed me being a little bit more real with you and showing you my problem areas with my hair and hopefully you can relate so that is all i have for you today make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're not already i want you to join the family and be around for all of my new uploads and don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it peace out and i will see you in the next one